What if creating a full market research report took you just a few minutes instead of a handful of hours, all while staying in the same spreadsheet? Check this out. We've just released a new feature called Quadratic Search, and it's about to blow your mind. Quadratic's native AI now has the ability to search the web for you, making it 10 times easier to augment data, reference documentation to set things up like APIs, or research anything online for you without you ever having to leave the spreadsheet. Let me show you an example. Financial research is something that financial professionals have typically spent hours conducting in order to get a, a good scope of a company. So today I'm going to do an Apple market research report with just a couple prompts. Let's start here by asking the AI to search the web and give me a full market research report on Apple. This prompt is intentionally vague. Uh, I want a market research report, but I'm only specifying go out and search the web and see what you can find me. Quadratic is going to go ahead and uh, do this tool call to search the web. You can see it's already pulled a handful of sources, and now it's going to go ahead and add that data to the spreadsheet uh, very quickly. So let's see what it comes up with. All right, so it's added some data to the sheet. You can see it has an executive summary at the top, uh, a financial performance overview, some segment performance, but this, this spreadsheet doesn't look great yet. Uh, with our AI formatting tool call, let's ask, please make this presentation ready. And uh, hopefully Quadratic will go in and format some of the, the headings, uh, give it some color. I'll add the spacing manually for now. All right, this is starting to come together a little bit more. Let me get my next prompt ready because I'd also like to get some data visualizations on this spreadsheet. All right, I'm going to ask it to uh, create a data visualization showing expected versus actual revenue for the past five years. And this isn't just made up data. It's not putting something on the sheet that's stored in the in the uh, LLM's parameters. It's actually going in, into the internet and searching for this information, which is uh, very useful for someone who would have to go ahead and do this themselves. All right, looks like we're done. So let's go ahead and submit this prompt. This will be at F1. Excellent. Okay. So we've got a chart here showing expected versus actual revenue. And I could go in here and uh, modify this chart. Let's say I wanted the colors to be um, gold and blue. Actually, let's make this uh, silver since I know Apple loves their uh, aluminum look to their hardware. Great. I'll accept that. You could see the diff in the code that it wrote. Um, this is looking pretty good. I was planning on asking for uh, an executive summary. It seems it already provided one. Uh, let's ask for something a little bit more comprehensive. There really is a wealth of information that it has already provided me. Now, uh, I can see how this would be extremely valuable for financial analysts that uh, need to do reports on different companies within their uh, portfolio or target companies that they might do for investment banking in, in terms of uh, potential acquisition or mergers. Okay, it's added some paragraphs here for me below, and now it's going to do some additional formatting for me. All right, so now that we've generated our comprehensive market report and executive summary here below, I wanted to show you one more thing that you can do with Quadratic Search that is really nice for financial professionals as well as anyone that wants to pull in real-time data into their spreadsheet, and that is setting up API requests. For a non-technical person as myself, uh, it can be quite confusing getting into the nitty-gritty of the documentation that you find online surrounding API requests. So being able to use Quadratic Search to search that documentation for you uh, is really useful to have the right parameters and, and the right code that's going to uh, make this API request pull in actual data from the web. So let's start a new chat here. And I'm going to ask Quadratic AI to create a Sparkline chart showing Apple stock over the past 30 days using the Polygon API. Here's my API key. So typically, if you have sensitive data, you may not want to submit this to the LLM. However, uh, I'm going to change my API key after this. The alternative is to generate the chart first, uh, or at least the Python cell that it's going to generate, and then plug in your own API key. Uh, and it looks like it did it in one shot this time. Uh, that is absolutely amazing. So it, it has the real-time stock prices for uh, for the past 30 days here. And you can see this code is, is running as expected. 
Um, really exciting. I, I'm, I'm super stoked about this new AI search feature, and I'm excited to hear from our users um, how they'll be able to leverage it for you know, doing research, augmenting data, and uh, reading documentation to set up APIs. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, I'm looking forward to, to teaching the next feature that we, we come out with. Let me know what you think in the comments. Cheers.